Good evening and welcome to 200forexpips.com. I'm here with the analysis of 18th of July 2017. Okay, first of all, uh, guys, as you know that uh, we were on vacations from 6th of July and we were not working and I have clearly mentioned to my all subscribers that I'm going on a vacations and I will update you when I will be back in 7 to 10 days. So guys, I'm back and we have started again trading again and now I'm going to start the discussion from Great Britain Pound USD today. Okay, first of all, guys, you can see we have a very clear drop on Great Britain Britain pound USD today and this is what advised to the subscribers in today's report okay so overall I was bearish on Great Britain pound USD the entry was 131123 and you can clearly see the market went into the top red boundary and after that we have received a rejection and the market is down okay uh, if we go to the four hour chart then guys you can clearly see that uh, the market has already moved so much high so that is why I was not expecting a more bullish trend on Great Britain Pound US, uh, USD and that is why I have supplied the bearish signal to my subscribers. Okay, uh, what's next? Uh, um, I'm going to talk about the next trade that is taken on USD JPY. Uh, we have a drop here on USD JPY. Uh, just a second. Okay, look at here. Uh, we have a, a strong downward channel on USD JPY. It's going down from 17 of July. It's, it's making a bearish pattern. And guys, I uh, have supplied the bearish signal to my subscribers in the morning and you can clearly see that the market has clearly went down with, without any problems. Okay, uh, from the top red boundary uh, from 17th of June, the market started making a bearish pattern and we have also received the sell signal from the scalper. Even today, if we draw the trend line from here to here, we had a bearish signal and if I move myself to the four hour chart then guys uh, uh, one thing will be clear to you because hourly candle was closed or uh, four hour candle was closed below the dotted blue line and that's the uh, second last candle and look the next candle is down so overall I was expecting a bearish day and still uh, everything is giving us a bearish chances on USD JPY so buying this pair is not a good option for today okay AUD USD it, uh, it was kept strong and uh, it has moved up and I have supplied the bullish signal to my subscribers uh, this is the signal in case of AUD USD 078878 was the entry and the market clearly breaks start level and it has moved up okay moreover guys now, now if you look at here from the red boundary it has received some rejection and now if we switch to the four hour chart then guys uh, I think you need to stop buying this pair because it has moved so much up and that's not a good time to buy this pair now you need to wait and see the market if it starts making a bearish pattern from here uh, in the in the next four to six hours then definitely it will go more down because we if we look at the prior wave on uh, AUD USD it's upward but it does not mean it will keep on going upward like this it will definitely go down and uh, you need to wait on the basis of four hour chart because it is possible this uh, this candle can also close into our dodgy and we will seek some candles that are showing uh, that will show us some signs of a trend reversal right now there are no signs of trend uh, of any reversal but the pair has moved to a very high price and I do not recommend anyone to buy this pair anymore okay USD Canadian dollar sell position is taken today we have a very sweet downfall on uh, USD Canadian dollar look at here it has a complete downward pressure uh, first of all, uh, from the red levels, the, uh, or the scalper has given you a, a sell signal to buy the, to sell this pair. It went down, and even in the last three hours, it has given us a sell signal. And the hourly candle was closed below the dotted line, which was a signal to sell this pair more. And look, the pair has gone more down. Okay, uh, what uh, what else is this? Uh, if we talk about the USD Canadian dollar signal, then I have supplied the bearish signal to my subscribers. I have not supplied them with a bullish signal. So overall, they should be in profits if they have taken a sell position on USD Canadian dollar. Moreover, as for the technical analysis, the market was good to trade because uh, if you have drawn this trend line that I teach in my video lessons, that when the market moves up and if you see any signs of trend reversal, like we have three dodges here that were giving us a clear sign that the market should go in another direction and we have a drop here so look at these things before placing any kind of orders because uh, when you are trading the overly chart it means that uh, your trade can even last for the next 10 hours so your trade should be uh, should have the capability uh, to uh, plan up to the 10 hours overall it's good that if you do scalping in forex these days because the market has become very tricky but these are the real basics that you need to understand for take before taking any kind of buy and sell positions 
okay at last i'm going to talk about a uh, great britain pound jpy so guys uh, if you have traded this uh, signal during the london session because the entry was uh, bullish as per my expectations when i have supplied the bullish signal in the london session so 146 746 was the entry and the market clearly uh, started uh, going up from my entry and it exactly hit the second price that i have supplied in my signals report at 147349 it hit that price and after that it started uh, going down but overall our signal was expired and we have nothing to do with this stamp downfall so overall guys one more thing if you have used the trading system on great britain pound jpy then one thing was clear when the overly candles moved up and it went into the top red boundary then we have received started receiving a great rejection from here so you had many hours to take a chance uh, by taking a sell position on great britain pound jpy um, i'm not sure that um, that how many traders have taken a sell position on great britain pound jpy but most of the traders follow the direction that i have supplied in my signals report and that signal went fine in the early session of the day okay uh, moreover guys i'm going just going to update you with a couple of uh, more uh, uh, more signals euro usd if we talk about the full day expectation i'm looking euro usd to be bearish and you can write down this entry 115365 if you want to trade at your own risk on euro usd then i am expecting a bearish day on euro usd and this is uh, not a, a right time to buy this pair it has already moved uh, up so much up okay new zealand usd as i have as i have told you that buying AUD USD is not recommended here so similarly normally these pairs follow each other so New Zealand USD I'm not suggesting anyone to buy this pair I am looking for a bearish day in the later hours so this is the uh, sell position entry from my side on New Zealand USD and moreover rest of the signals went five uh, went perfect except USD CHF because I was expecting a bullish day but overall it has not taken the u-turn and so we have not worked with the signal but the rest of the signals went fine with no problems okay moreover uh, those guys uh, who don't, don't know how to use this trading system so uh, just to show them when the hourly candles come into the top red boundary uh, then you can place your sell orders and if you have received the sell signal from the scalper in the form of red arrow then you can definitely take your sell positions and you can buy the pair when it starts making an upward momentum from the uh, from the lower red boundary this is how you need to tra trade using the trading system okay uh, moreover guys um, if you are looking to get this trading system if you are uh, if you are willing to subscribe to my forex signal service if you want to improve your trading technique through my video lessons or request for skype one-to-one -one live coaching then for all this you need to email me on info at the rate of 200forexwebs.com please like my videos subscribe my youtube channel and share the analysis with other traders thank you for watching the video